ChatGPT voice plugins killed traditional language learning, and now you can do it on your phone too. Let me show you. How do I say, may the force be with you in Spanish? Que la fuerza te acompañe. Möge die Macht mit dir sein. Que la force soit avec toi. That's a good one. That sounds epic. So I'm a language learner studying Spanish. We previously looked at how you can use ChatGPT to practice writing in different languages. And then it got fun when we used it to have conversations in different languages using some computer voice plugins. But there was one obvious problem. You're not going to carry a laptop with you to practice languages on the street. So I did a ton of digging around and finally found a way to do this on your phone. I'm going to show you how to set up your phone to speak directly to ChatGPT in different languages and demonstrate three powerful ways you can use this while on the go to keep your language skills strong. With a bonus tip at the end to help you take this to the next level. Whether you're an iPhone Knight or an Android Gladiator, everyone will be covered, so here's what you should do. On iPhone, follow what I'm doing to enable dictation and keyboard. And on Android, follow me to enable voice typing. And thank you to everyone who's been leaving comments in the videos. I always joke that dancers, musicians, and language learners are the best people in the world, and I've yet to be proven wrong on that. I'm curious to hear what languages everyone is learning and why you're so passionate about learning that language. Now think about all the awesome languages you're going to want to learn and go enable them first in voice detection by doing this. On iPhone, you're adding keyboards in the languages you want to speak. And on Android, you're adding, they're technically called Gboards, you're adding those languages for the languages you want to speak. For me, I have to include Spanish, of course. And let's see what Italian, German, French, Japanese, and a few others sound like. Now you're going to want to enable for your phone to be able to speak back to you in different languages by doing this. On iPhone, you're going to enable spoken content by copying me here. And on Android, you're going to enable select to speak and read in background like this. To answer my own question, I'm learning Spanish. I've been able to visit Mexico and Argentina and I've loved them. So if you know any city or town anywhere in the world that's Spanish speaking, I'd love to give it a visit and just get to know people there. Now set your reading speed on iPhone like this and on Android as follows. Speak selection read selected content. Speak selection read selected content. And finally, set the languages you want ChatGPT to be able to read back to you on your iPhone like this and on Android like this. iPhones have a benefit here because you can technically have all languages enabled to be read to you, whereas Android makes you choose one language that you can come back to here and change. Feel free to download any extra voices and languages directly to your device in case you don't have Wi-Fi or internet service somewhere and want to have these languages available directly on your phone. This is how you do it on iPhone, and Android supports this too. The two have different language options, but very popular languages like Chinese, Spanish, German, Japanese, Italian, and English are covered in both of them. Hallo, ich heiße Markus. Hallo, ich heiße Markus. Konnichiwa, watashi no namae wa Otoya desu. Konnichiwa, watashi no namae wa Otoya desu. Este es un ejemplo de síntesis de voz en español. Este es un ejemplo de síntesis de voz en español. Este es un ejemplo de síntesis de voz en español. And now, let's give it a test. Testing. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. How may I assist you today? Testing. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. How can I assist you today? So now it's time to put this bad boy to the test and see how to use it. The main benefit is using this as a conversation dummy so you can build your confidence and then go out and speak to different people in different languages. Tell ChatGPT something like, act as my Spanish conversation partner. Only reply to me in Spanish and continue the conversation when you respond. Now kick off a conversation like, did Star Wars get better or worse when Disney bought the franchise? Hola. Claro que sí. Estoy encantado de ser tu compañero de conversación en español. Respondiendo a tu pregunta, es difícil decir si Star Wars ha mejorado o empeorado desde que Disney compró la franquicia. As you talk to ChatGPT, you can cut in and ask it to explain things to you like grammar or language structures. Why did you say encantado de ser tu compañero instead of encantado a ser tu compañero? Language mixing does not work well within the same phrase, so you might have to manually fix it sometimes. Muy 
buena pregunta. En español, decimos encantado de ser tu compañero en lugar de encantado a ser tu compañero porque la preposición de se utiliza para expresar el... A second way to use this, if you're a beginner and you're not ready for full conversations, you can use this method to teach you phrases in another language without you knowing them to start with. Try something like this. Translate this to German. I am a Jedi. Ich bin ein Jedi. And then you can ask more complicated phrases as you build up your language skills. Translate this to Spanish. I have worse aim than a stormtrooper. Tengo peor puntería que un soldado imperial. Remember, this is not perfect, but it's a good start. This is another fun way to use ChatGPT to practice languages on your phone. If you're a beginner, you can use guided conversations to have ChatGPT walk you through full dialogues in different languages. Take a look at this to see what I mean. Tell ChatGPT something like, act as a Spanish teacher for a beginner student. Let's have a conversation with one sentence phrases. Repeat my responses back in English and Spanish and do the same for your responses. Copy this format example. Let's start. What would have happened in Star Wars if Anakin had never turned evil? En español, dirías que habría pasado en Star Wars si Anakin nunca se hubiera convertido en malvado? Did Darth Vader ever end up bringing Padme back from the dead? No, Darth Vader was not able to bring Padme back from the dead, despite his efforts. This method is a nice way to hack your way through conversations, even while you're building up your initial language skills. And it's a good one if unguided conversations are too difficult for you. I'm more of an advanced Spanish student now, so this is perfect for me to get as many swings as I can at conversation practice and to geek out by talking about favorite movies and other topics in Spanish. So I think intermediate and advanced students will get a ton from this. But I do think it also offers some value for beginners. If you get creative and use prompts like examples two and three, you can have ChatGPT meet you where you're at and then move and progress. As always, this is not perfect. It makes mistakes. So whenever you can, confirm what you learn to make sure you're learning the right things. But I do expect that ChatGPT will get better over time. And here's a great bonus tip. You might have noticed that the text-to-speech feature only reads one paragraph at a time. Respond to me in Spanish paragraphs. Who is more powerful, Darth Vader or the Emperor? Darth Vader y el Emperador son dos de los personajes más icónicos de la saga de Star Wars, y ambos son conocidos por su poder en el lado oscuro de la fuerza. Pero cuando se trata de determinar quién es más poderoso entre los dos, hay que tener en cuenta algunos factores importantes. Where's the rest? And this can get annoying having to tap the screen again and again for each paragraph. So here's a workaround to fix this. On iOS, enable read selection on the spoken content page. And on Android, you're all set already. When you want to hear multiple paragraphs, drag and select the full text and tap read on iPhones and click and drag over the full screen on Android. So you should get something more like this. Hay que tener en cuenta algunos factores importantes. En primer lugar, el emperador. También conocido como Palpatine, es el líder del Imperio Galáctico y... Chewbacca, a popular character from the Star Wars franchise, is a Wookiee. Artificial species are discovered in long, shaggy hair. While there is no real-life animal that looks exactly like a Wookiee, there are some animals... Some similarities with the character. The closest animal to a real-life Chewbacca might be the Tibetan Mastiff. I have a ton more tips and prompts to use ChatGPT to practice and learn languages in this playlist on my channel, and I'll keep investigating to find better and better methods as the tech develops to share with the community. So I'll see you there if you found this useful, and hasta la próxima. So where does the force really come from?